is. Check, check. This is yeah. Bill Wehrman. Yeah. yeah. Well, he lost his leg, I believe, it was about 19, er, late 42, early 43. And by um, early to mid-1944, when they were testing a temporary wooden jetty down the quay, Bill was the driver of the engine that tested it. And there was a bit of a joke going around at the time about, well, if Bill goes in, he'll float the shore with his wooden leg. Because it was a bit of a rough jetty. It was just put up for D-Day. Oh, dear. Siding on, they were going to bring car ferry terminal. Yes. Again. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I can remember him on the pilot engine after they brought uh, coaching stock over and they pulled it off into the sidings. Then uh, Bill would go over a light engine, but he'd up with the regulator and he'd go like bat out of hell <laughs> <laughs> over the Jubilee siding. Did he? God, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Back yeah. again with it. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, it's a very tight timetable in those days because we only had one and a half platforms. Yes. One, one main platform and a, a short yeah. bay. Right. So as soon as you got the passengers out, that had to be out. So Bill was on the back, engine was uncoupled <laughs> and away. Off he went, yeah. Oh, That's Trevs, uh, bro, rules, pretty. Hot rules. <laughs> yes. And I remember yeah. he was on, I think he was on holiday. And one Saturday in the summer, so back in the early to mid 50s, and someone else had his beloved engine, 7408, which was his regular little engine. Yeah. And they derailed it in the throat of Jubilee on a Saturday morning, which couldn't have been worse. It, oh. it messed everything up. And they were getting it back on as quick as they could, and all of a sudden Bill Wareham turns up. Yeah. The message had got down to Weymouth Bay Avenue, his engine was off the track, and Bill was there. Was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he didn't lift it up. How did he get it back on then? Yeah, Jacks. 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 Oh. They were very oh. quick. They brought the vans down from the shed. Yeah. The jacks, you had lift jacks and traverser jacks, and she would dropped off, you know, or come off the track. So you lift it, and then you slide it sideways on these traverser jacks. Oh, I see, right. And then yeah. drop it down again. How did they manage to derail it? That must have been a points the problem. Give out. Oh, did it? That bit of track going in out of there was very heavily used. Yeah. One of was it? Yeah. I remember in later years, one of those brushes, not a brush, um, a peak, coming off one of those points in Alexander Bridge. And you get a diesel engine off and all those bogeys, that's a nightmare. Yeah. yeah. It's under a bridge, you've got a job to pack what much. <laughs> Dear, <laughs> oh, crumbs. Oh, that's just. You don't get that it's sort all of. over time for the shed gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Oh, lovely. God, yeah, he was a gentleman, was Bill. Yeah. Yes, he was a very nice chap. Yeah, yeah, very, very. He could put more soot on the park district than all the other engines put together. Oh, <laughs> I think the thing was, where he had a wooden leg, was getting the regulator up. And he couldn't notch back, so he just used to whack it up, you know. Yeah. Right. That's where he got the speed, I think. Yeah, but don't forget, <laughs> wooden legs weren't as comfortable as they are now. Oh, no, no. So he used to sort of sit on his seat and yeah. work it from there. I see. But he had to move it quick. Him and, like, it was him and a signalman had a very good working, you know, I must, I'm not saying a, a, a driver can pre-empt signals, but he knew what was going to happen next. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he knew where he was going. And yeah. Shunters, he had a good gang of shunters. Everyone knew. Yeah. What they were doing right. It worked, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Never had a cock up. No. What was so your role as, as station master? What, what was your role with the drivers? Well, I was relief station master at Weymouth, so uh, yeah. yeah, we had the um, coaching stop that had to go back in the siding, so we had to uh, sort of tell the drivers, you know, where we wanted to stop, place, uh -huh. etc. Yeah. yeah. Oh, kind of yeah. Different world then, wasn't it? I oh, should think. It's all, was, yeah. all automated now. Just to manage it here with one and a half arrival platforms and one and a half departure platforms and the barlow. That's right, and the barlow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, great. They don't have station masters as no. such now, do they? What do they no. have? It's just a well, they are called station masters, but they're um, clerical, yeah, sort of uh, more clerical. Manage. Yes. They're more yes. commercial out on the track at all. Aren't they? No, no they're, they're nothing to do with the track. That's network rail. Oh, I see. Good. We have, no. uh, <coughs> no we have to wait for a. Have to wait for the expert to come. Yeah, to come down. Yeah. Like the old station master, he knew every rule and regulation. Yes. I'm working. He would put it into operation. He could do it. You know everything, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Right, know everything. Well, they were really it's like bank managers. They were looked up to. Weren't they? Oh yeah. <laughs> it must have. It was a small community. Like yes. If you were station master in a small place like Maiden, you you were in the pecking order with a vicar, a squire, and all the rest of them. Exactly. That's right. Yes. Mm.